Hey everyone, welcome to the Sagas of the Shimmering Seas. This is the Hidden Tomb or Lost Tomb of Akarut. Yes, I cannot remember the name, so yes, I say both. Take it away, people. Um, I forgot to change the stream name. Wow. Marcus, when I said I was ready, I was 100% lying. It was a thing that I said to you because I thought, hey, I'm probably ready. Let's uh, let's be fine. Let's uh, let's let's change that now, though. I can do that. Um, edit, stream, info. This is not the chosen view. This is the lost, hidden, lost tomb of Akarut, Vengeance or Mochi. Some butthole killed our friend six levels ago. Vengeance. Hope it works. <clears throat> anyway, uh, yes, welcome to the Sakas of the City. This is the Lost Tomb of Akarut, and we are on uh, to play uh, some games and entertain uh, some, some folks with our game playing and all that good stuff. Uh, this is my wonderful crew. They are awesome and great humans. We've got Asthma playing Lyra. We have um, Emily playing Celia. We have Marcus playing Chiss. Buenos dias. And we have Jack. Jack was Mochi before Mochi got disintegrated. Mm -hmm. And I got ice cream to go for the wasp. You know, I approve of this. Mochi was disintegrated and it sucked. I, I literally got angry messages from people when Mochi died. <laughs> I didn't know that, actually. But, like, I've gotten, like, uh, messages from people, like, I think it was, like, the longest one was, like, half a year after it had happened. And I'm, like, sitting here and I'm, like, you're talking about a character that, like, was not even existing half a year ago. Yeah, right. That is um, my mind. It was a thing. It happened. People got unhappy. But, you know, hey, such is life sometimes. I don't even think the Death of Mochi is on our YouTube channel. Because I think we, that's from the footage that we lost. Yeah, I think that's true. <coughs> yeah. Sorry about that. So, if you don't know what we're talking about, there's nothing I can do to help you. Except this fancy moment right here. So, um, you guys, a while ago, with a different party, fought your way and begged, borrowed, and stealed your way down 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 and you found in the middle of this ancient tomb a weird wooded area filled with off-color light the sun uh, is in the center of the sky and does not move and you guys started making your way through this area um constantly thinking maybe we should go back maybe we should go back maybe we should go back you in fact all said that at some point or another except for mochi and um but you decided to just keep pushing on, keep pushing on, hoping that you might find something of greater value. Uh, but decided to like try and take a rest in the tomb. Taking a rest in tombs is scary. It turns out it's hard. And your rest was interrupted by a shaman. This shaman's name is Garuk. He came and he spoke to you all and that told you all to leave. You then decided to rest against his wishes rather than leave. And then Mochi decided to have a conversation with him. I don't think that conversation went very well because Mochi, for those of you who don't know or remember him, could be a little annoying. And this shaman was very powerful. <clears throat> and so when Mochi became too annoying, the shaman just pointed his finger at Mochi and turned him into dust. Yeah. At it some happens. point, it does happen. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, Tiss woke up. And Tiss didn't really know what happened, but the shaman told you all to get. And so you all left knowing that Mochi was gone and that this shaman was responsible. <laughs> Six levels later, y'all be back. So, down, down, down you have come. Down to the bottom of this part of the tomb. We're going to call this floor three. And again, we have this 
teleportation circle that you're on, but these woods that are around you, these clean trees, sort of, they have a weird, like almost, um, we would might think of it as like a plasticky feel because they are um, uh, not made by real sunlight, but you know, such is what they are. Additionally, there seems to be a water geyser that's shooting straight up into the sky. The sky is painted to look like sky, but doesn't actually look like sky. But it kind of has the illusion of looking like sky because the sun, the fake sun, kind of is bright enough that it prevents you from really seeing it well. And so we have these trees, these trees that have some dryads in it, as some of you may remember. Uh, and you get off this teleportation circle and arrive here. And the first thing you see is a stick. Uh, a spear, shall we say. Um, and on that spear is uh, several people that have been run through and left there. Goody. This is where your friend got killed? Nearby. The uh, um, marshmallow, too? Oh, sorry, that might have been a little bit too <laughs> inappropriate. I know you guys lost your friend and all, but it's uh, not a good place. Uh, do they look... Um, or w what uh, species are they all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a mix of species. Um, but what you see is that some of them are like former members of Hubert Songshore's Enclave. Some of them are other types of adventurers. This is clearly designed to be a warning. Y'all, probably including you all, get. Did they, um, do the bodies seem like well prepared? Are they wearing armor and do they have supplies or are they kind of stripped there? Um, they are stripped bare. Not a good sign. <laughs> How far is it from here to the buildings that we saw before? Uh, you're thinking about to the temple? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, let me check. Probably, we'll say 500 yards or so. It's a couple of soccer fields, several soccer fields. Um, yeah, with trees in between and all that stuff. Um, I think you can you can see the temple rising up in the in the west. Um, the geysers to your east. Uh, the sun is also to your west right now. Um, and trees are around you. Does it move the sun? Does it follow no. the usual course? Okay. No, it's just this fixed orb in the center of the sky. Are there any particularly tall trees? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's one tree that is actually has a gate around it that locks it away from everything else. Um, and this tall tree is um, uh, looks kind of special. Uh, it's around like like 50 to 60 feet tall, whereas the next tallest tree is like 20 to 30 feet tall. Um, that tall tree is uh, oak. That would be perfect for a vantage point. What are you guys saying? I think that's a great idea. <laughs> All right. Why is, why is it gated off, though? I mean, is it just, like, conservationist-type stuff, or...? Is it to stop people touching the tree? Is there anything wrong with the trees? <laughs> I've never been here before, so... Um... We know there are... Are there... I can't remember what they're called. 
spirits in the trees. Dryads. Dryads, that's it. Um, there are dryads in this forest, but maybe there's like an especially powerful dryad in that tree or something. Mm-hmm. Ooh, speaking of which, ooh, you're back. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, hi. 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 Oh, where, where's my tiger man? <laughs> How many people have you gone through? <laughs> I'm beginning to be concerned with you three. Um, Tiger Man isn't with us, but he is. He is okay. So, He's- something steps out from beneath a flower uh, on the ground. A uh, very tiny little wood-shaped person. Uh, just steps off from behind a flower and looks. He he's okay. He is okay. Yeah. Um, he, he didn't come to, to see me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he promised that he would come and see me. Um, maybe he'll come back. He's not soon. dead, is he? <laughs> I'm just gonna whisper over. <laughs> maybe. maybe he'll come back. He's been gone forever. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> like, just be like, oh yeah, yeah, he has, he has been for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think he died, did you? Do you? Just no. Gonna... Uh, she asked that. Like of old age? Could he have died of old age? I know that you would live so short lives. <laughs> I don't. I don't think he's died of old age yet. Are you I sure? Think it's been be... like, it's been like three weeks. <laughs> um what, what's your name oh hi wait didn't we oh I, right i'm not supposed to show myself to you well hi i'm um i'm flora flora we met you before i remember flora hi i don't remember her being so small <laughs> well i was in my tree before Ah, okay. But now it's you're in a there. Spot. It's really pretty. It's a hickory tree. It's the best. I bet it is. Hmm. <laughs> um, Flora, do you know about the uh, the people who live here? What about the people that live here? Uh, can you tell us anything about them? Because we don't know much about them. What? Well, let's see. I've got my sister Astrea, my sister Briseis, my sister Callista, my sister's Dianara, my sister's Adathira, I'm Flora, there's a sister Gaia, and a sister Hypermenestra, and a sister Iphigenia, and a sister Yocasta. Um, what about yeah, people your sisters? <laughs> well, um, we used to have a tiger man that lived with us. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but no, no one else. You don't see anyone else. Well, I mean, we don't really talk about core. Who's who's core? She's our lost sister. What do you mean lost? Well, she's in the big tree over there, and we don't go over there because of the bad oh. things. Is the tree cursed? Hmm? No, of course in it. You can't curse a tree with a dryad. Everyone knows that. You're silly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, it's, uh, is Cora okay? I think so. Why Why don't you go to her tree? Well, because of the bad things. Bad things? Yeah, like the the golden lizard and the and the the shaman and the and the the king and the the the, the things. Ah, can you tell me more about the things? 
well, they have pointy sticks that they shoot at people and then they die. Yeah. And then their bodies. And then they decompose. Slightly disturbed as to why she's smiling when she says that. <laughs> uh, um, do you know why they picked Cora's tree? Well, it's big. It's the biggest. It's the biggest so of the they biggest. Use, they use it to uh, climb and then shoot the the sticks down from there? No. No. The things just sort of go over there and um, look at it for a while sometimes. Oh, oh this might be really good. How often okay, do well, they do that? Um, sometimes. <laughs> okay. Do you know when they do How it? do you measure time other than feel it? Uh... Can I make a sundial? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. It... Oh, wait, shit. The sun isn't moving. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 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 I, I don't think I I don't think I know that though. So like I guess I'll explain mm. the concept of a uh, sundial, <laughs> despite the fact that it's never going to be useful for them. <laughs> so your sun moves. What a weird place you're from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I can't believe it's just the, I, I completely forgot that detail that was put in very specifically. Oh, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I love the fact that, like, I think it's on some funny. level, like, this might be where you notice that detail, you know, zero. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> I can even see zero, like, saying, see, so here's how we determine what time it is. And look, we can put this here and Align it with the sun. As time goes on, it will the shadow will move, and then just stands there looking at it and like, why isn't the shadow moving? <laughs> <laughs> Tried his best. Animals here. Sure. Snakes and elk and birds and uh, harpies and a hydra. A five-headed hydra, yeah, that hydra, and um, lots of lots of other animals. I don't like it here. <laughs> <laughs> and and the king is a pet. It's like, it's like, um, it's like a bull, but like on legs. Does oh. it have a beak? A what? Never mind. No, it has <laughs> horns, like a bull. Uh, yeah, I'm right. Okay. It's like a bull. <laughs> and, um, and sometimes the king calls it strong or strongion or something. Strongion? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, where is is there a tree that's um, not far from the teleportation circle, but like a little ways away um, that we could like hide behind? Yeah. Well, the teleportation circle is inside like a ring of small trees that protect you from vision, protect you from sight. Um, if you're looking for a tree that's large enough to hide behind. Uh, sure. Yeah, there's plenty. 
It's I mean it's it's a relatively wooded land. Okay. Um I am going to suggest that we maybe go and hide <laughs> for a start um, a little ways away because this is quite a well-known place. North, uh, south, west. Um, west was where the temple was, so maybe like northwest. <laughs> mm -hmm. We could also okay. dryad too. We could what? Uh, ask the dryad where it'd be best to hide. Mm, yeah. Uh, I'll ask Flora. You want to hide? Yeah, the people here don't really like us much. <laughs> what people? I like you. The, uh, the things that go up to your sister's tree. The shaman. Oh, the things. Yeah, they're not people. Yeah. Well, they don't like us. <laughs> oh, wait, they're not people, though. That might give us the ability to go up in that tree. If we fight off a few, like, little ones. Well, come here. They probably won't see you. Come on. And she starts wandering through the north part of the, the circle. Okay, guess I'll follow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you trying to be stealthy or anything like that? Um... Try not to draw attention, but I don't think we're like sneaking slowly. Or, sure. yeah, that makes sense. Cool. <laughs> cool. Does a twenty three hit? Yeah. That's 29 points of damage as an arrow goes straight through your shoulder blade. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Can we take a look around to see where the hell that came from? Yeah, roll up for something here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, there is a archer uh, hiding in the trees. Um, not in the tree, but like behind a tree, uh, about 200 uh, feet west of you. Shit. Well, we need to take um, him out before he kills, shows anybody. Uh, we should get back in the clearing with the teleportation circle. But they would already know that we're here if we let them go. That makes it a lot harder on us. They probably I... do either way, I think. Can I use magic missile? Yeah. To try and knock him out of the tree? Yeah, absolutely. Magic missile away. Uh, yeah. yeah, so you hit him three times and you hear uh, 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 as, uh, as, you, as it smacks into him these three bolts of force uh, and he, but he manages to hold on to the tree a little bit and then starts uh, scrabbling down and looking like he wants to run and report <sighs> yeah I'm Tank. going directly after him mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Uh, how fast are you? Um, 30 feet speed, and I'm going to dash, and I'm going to use my face step. Mm -hmm. So it should be a total of 90. 90 feet? Okay. Yeah, can you roll an athletics check for me? Yeah. I'll follow after him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why don't you roll an athletics check as well, Tiss? I'll dash and then cast a, uh, or spend a second level slot to use Misty Step. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my man. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Uh, so the two of you catch up, and um, and uh, this person's like trying to scrabble. I think like you see him uh, trip over a rock and like like try to run along the ground rather than like get up and, and like run efficiently. And that just gives you the window that you need to grab him. 
slap him over the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually going to see if I can't uh, grapple him by the throat. It's a mm -hmm. goblin, right? Yep, it's a goblin. Okay, yeah, so he's a smaller size. It should be fine. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to see if I can't, like, just drag him back while, like, kind of crushing his windpipe. Not, like, mm -hmm. harmful, harmful, but, like, yeah, enough yeah. so that he doesn't speak. He can't speak, yeah. Sure. Wait, wait, help! 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 <laughs> Say another word, and your head will be two feet away from your body. Roll an intimidation check at advantage. All right. Uh, da -da. Oh my god, it's a plus one, but it's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he immediately shuts up. <coughs> All right, we have an oh advantage. <laughs> I mean, I know he's giving me like a quarter of my health, but this poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we might let him live, just depending. Uh, but first, I think we should probably uh, drag him back behind the clearing that we were in. Yeah. yeah. So you drag him back to the clearing, and uh, there he is. The dryad's gone. Uh, Celia is bleeding pretty badly. Shit. <laughs> Well, okay, I guess the bleeding isn't, like, too terrible of a thing, considering that you'll probably use it later. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, Celia, I've got sort of unfortunate news for you. I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, my God. <laughs> Have I been poisoned? You know... Yeah, maybe. Uh, what'd you get? 17. Okay, you're fine. Okay, great. Your body <laughs> up the You do not suffer from the poison condition. You do not take 1d6 points of damage uh, every hour. Wait a second. Yep. Would she know that it's poison? Because she's a blood mage? Um, It's not a blood poison. Oh, okay. The contact poison. But either way, she successfully saves. Um, I'm just gonna kind of like <laughs> do like a big gesture, which is quite rude <laughs> to this <laughs> and then gesture to my arm and be like, "Are you serious? Are you actually <laughs> serious?" <laughs> Ouch, you survived my shot. You're not a very good shot. <laughs> <laughs> she says an arrow sticking out of her shoulder. <laughs> I could most out my people head. die. Well, I'm not most people. Are you going to eat my liver? Probably. Sorry, what did you just say? Are you going to eat my liver? I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> but I could if you wanted me to. <laughs> what? Ew. No. You're the one that brought it up, buddy. You brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm so confused. Please don't Anyways. eat my liver. Uh, Were you expecting us to eat your liver? Yeah. Why would we eat your liver? Because you're horrifying. Yeah, the other bits are much tastier. Oh, God. You mean you eat everything but my liver? That's somehow worse. <laughs> Imagine if all that's left of me is my liver. Livers are high in vitamin A. You don't want to eat too much at one time. You can, you know, like, it's it's it can be a bad thing medicinally. And we want to keep our diets healthy. That being said, uh, as long as you keep talking about everything that you know about this place, uh, we don't get our forks and knives out. So, uh, Speak. <laughs> I I won't betray. She takes the first bite, and I'm gonna point to Emily. <laughs> I will eat your voice box if you don't start talking. <laughs> I I won't betray. Someone roll an intimidation check, for me, Emily. I guess. <laughs> Tiny little house. Mate. You've got advantage. Intimidation. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I should be betraying my people 
um, can I just like <laughs> uh, turn around and like very casually show off the amount of blood vials that I have in my bag? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've successfully intimidated him, so I'm not going to, like, belabor the point or anything, but yeah, sure. <laughs> you would be very use useful to us, dead or alive. So, you might as well be alive, you know what I'm saying? Yep, I know what you're saying. Please stop. <laughs> got his eyes closed in terror. I kind of feel bad. You should, you're torturing this person. Oh, I didn't mean to do that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> so uh tell us about the guard uh when did you join up what do you mean when did you start guarding the entrance to keep people out oh uh when people started coming <clears throat> and how many of you are there how many what? And guards. Oh. Um. I'm getting hungry. 230. Jeez. <laughs> Are there any more guards in the area that we just were? What? I'm not being difficult, but what area would that be? Oh, God, no. We can't let him look at the thing. Because uh, I don't want to get shot by <laughs> the other arrow that they're going to shoot at us. Where are the majority of your guard, usually? Around King Akarut. So you're guarding the king? Yes. Do you guard anything else? The sacred tree. Anything else? The treasure vault. Anything else? The weird circle that we're on. Looks like they aren't guarding Any the you know? <laughs> Besides the king? Besides the king? Each other. <laughs> with pride okay <laughs> <laughs> please don't eat my liver what about a certain shaman what do you know about him you mean Garak sure mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> he is shaman <gasps> does he take any nightly trips any like places where the guard wouldn't be that he goes to? Not possible. He is a member of guard. Oh. How could guard go where guard not go? Very interesting. How many other guards follow around this guy? Some. Do you work in pairs or groups? No. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes solo, sometimes group. Okay. What advantage of pair? Good question. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> um, hmm. Where would Guruk, Guruk <laughs> usually be? By king, by throne, in temple. Does he ever not guard the king? Well, I mean, he sleeps. Okay, where does he sleep? By king. Oh Room next door. <laughs> this guy's going to be really hard to get to, isn't he? Does he take any, like, nightly... Uh walks or daily walks you said they go look at the tree is that the shaman yes the shaman and the king mm. and sometimes the the the, the pet I see um how often do they take these trips every morning 
Oh. <laughs> How do you know what time is morning? <laughs> if the morning is when King get up. Ah. Fair enough. Okay. So you're going to help us out. And in return, we won't immediately kill you. Well, that sounds like a bad deal. <laughs> We're not offering a better one. <laughs> That's fair. Do we have the blood bucket just in case? I have a few empty bottles. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so how do you want him to help you out? Um, <laughs> I'm thinking we pull a Han Solo here. <laughs> Like uh, stormtroopers type of deal. So, reminder well, that two people in your group do not know what that means. Oh damn it! I forgot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so basically, there's a scene where like they dress up as stormtroopers and then they take quote unquote prisoners up to the prisoners bay to go free uh, another character. You want to dress up as a goblin? No, no, no. Uh, but I do want him to pretend like he caught us fair and square. To the guards at the tree, that is. Mm. We might need a couple more people, because I don't think it's very realistic that this guy <laughs> just four people. Very not realistic. Orders to kill. Oh, shit. Okay. Great. Um, I mean, play dead. <laughs> and, and he points, and you notice that like a bunch of the dead people that are here um, on, spear, on spikes have like arrows through them. Uh, hey Matt, can I start casting Fine Steed? Yes, absolutely. It takes ten minutes. So. Yeah. Um, can I just ask him a, a curious question, not useful to us? Yeah, go for um, it. how many people have you killed? Me? Yeah, you personally. Like in the past couple of weeks, or? Since we started in guarding? your whole life, if you can remember that far. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Right. It's gonna take thirty-seven minutes for us to kill you. <laughs> I mean, the irony of this is there's actually no reason for us to like. I mean. There's like a slight moral reason because like one could argue that like he didn't know that these people might not have been dangerous when in reality a lot of them could have been dangerous so might have been justified. But then again, like leaving him alive is such a terrible idea at this point. Yeah. <laughs> um I would like Zerial here to roll an insight check for me actually. Oh god. All right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, I mean, I think you get the vibe, and I think it's a correct vibe to get, and I hope I hope it's relatively clear, but I just want to clarify that it's clear. Uh, I think you get the vibe that, like, um, the shaman is probably manipulating the society. Um, yeah. The shaman is propping up the king, and through the king giving orders and directives that force these people into doing things, they are subjects, not... Um, something else not a team not 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 they're not like devout believers in some ways they're sort of devout believers because they have been only exposed to one way of life right yeah. it I'll, I'll even fill out to tell you that the the shaman spreads bogeyman stories about the people that come down here and they want to eat your liver right <laughs> um you know and, like he's 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 teaching them to be afraid of you guys um, he's teaching all of them to be afraid of you guys. So they don't know how to respond to something else. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I don't think we should kill the guy. Can we gag him and... Tie him to a tree? Tie him to a tree? I don't know. I, we could... Do you think the Dryads would be able to take care of him for a bit? That is true, because previously they locked somebody up uh, down in yeah, the right. Well. Like, maybe we can always fetch him later, you know? <laughs> what we don't want is for him to communicate to anyone else, so. Yeah. Okay. There's a way to just gag him. I have an idea. Can I just knock in the closest tree? <laughs> See mm -hmm. if I can uh, 
find a dryad? Uh, what traveler? I have a proposition <laughs> for you. And what is this proposition? Uh, you got your lost sister over there, right? If you're speaking of Kor, yes, she is our lost sister. So, all I need you to do is to keep this guy, and I'm just going to point to Mr. Uh, Arrow Shooty Shooty Boy here, <laughs> in a safe, but... I think he nods and smiles. That is my name! <laughs> safe, safe but completely silent uh, captivity uh, for the next couple of days and we will uh, free your lost sister oh gosh um, hold someone against their will inside a tree prevent them from speaking for a couple of days yeah, yeah, I can do that. Awesome. All right. Uh, well, we're off to find your sister. Anything else you want to tell us before you go down into the uh, dirt, sir? Why dirt? Yeah, I have no idea either. <laughs> it's just what these guys are telling me, and I'm going to point to <laughs> Evan the rest of the group. Dryads eat your soul. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't? No. And we don't eat goblins. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> Most all of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Fine all the time. <laughs> yeah, roll this way. Me. Mm -hmm. Celia. Not very good at persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. So he does not look uh, convinced or assuaged at all, but the dry edge just sort of opens her roots, and there's a hole there now for him. Um, I think Celia like pats him on the back and says, "We'll be back for you." And it's supposed to be reassuring, but it just ends up being scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check him in the back like the trunk of an old car. <laughs> And uh, he ends up in the roots of the tree. Uh, can I ask him something before we, or some things before we um, Please, close him up? Uh, do you all know where the Hydra is? There's a Hydra around here, right? Yes. Are you friendly with it? It follows the instructions of the king. Uh, what about the king's pet? The Minotaur. Does it follow the instructions of the king? Yes. Okay. And then this will just leave him. Get All him. living things Enter. obey the king. Problem. <laughs> it is, because that means that our distraction kind of goes away. Exactly. Although, uh, I think if we take out the trees and get the dryads on our side, we can definitely uh, set up an ambush at the tree every morning, right? Yeah. I think that's all we have. Because we don't want to take them in the temple, because we'd have to get in the temple and get out of the temple and it's probably heavily trapped or something yeah i mean it gives us like what we need to do is we need to at least bargain with the dryads to have them hold anybody who tries to run away that's going to be the biggest thing so if we can do that then we're set we set up an ambush at the uh tree and I'm thinking we just kind of, <laughs> I mean, as as like cliche as it might be, it will literally be like the Robin Hood type ambush where we just drop down from a tree <laughs> onto yeah. them. Yeah, so, uh, so what I want you to do, Tiss, uh, you're the one who's thinking like this right now, so I want you to roll an investigation check for me, if that's all right. 16. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Tiss, um, you think to ask this guy some questions about the layout and the design of everything around everywhere. Um, and um, basically you discover that like their living spaces in the temple are very much like related to each other. They're kind of all one and the same. It's all sort of a hodgepodge mix up of things. So the temple is not like actually 
in some ways it's well guarded because it's got lots of people there but in other ways it's not well guarded it doesn't have lots of traps or things like that there um there's one large pit trap in the center of it that's actually like where the hydra lives they open it up and toss food down um and beyond that there's just like a staircase up to a throne room uh and uh like some living quarters off to the side of it it's it's big right i'm not denying its size is it you how big is it uh 10 feet square so um 10 20 30 40 50 So it's like 500 feet um, long and like, you know, 300 feet back. But it's not like, it's not like massive, if that makes sense. It is big, but it's not. But you've seen bigger things in Racy. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, when he was describing the uh, visit to the tree that the shaman and the and Akaru take, mm -hmm. um, did you say what their, what their detail was? Their uh, nope. compliment or whatever. Oh, uh, yes, he would. Um, they have uh, four guards who wait outside the tree, uh, and then inside the area of the tree, there's a golden lizard, uh, a golden lizard that um, that helps them. That they've seen images of or flashes of. Talk to the lizard. <laughs> It's a weird idea, but I might not I, be friendly if all the animals listen to it. If it's not friendly, then we kill it, and I think that's fine. That might be hard, though. In the golden lizard. That is true, but I, I don't. We don't think... have strong weapons. Yeah, like it's either that or the hydra, <laughs> right? <laughs> um. Do we have... I was just going to say, we also have pineapple with us if you want to do some scouting. Go on. Because if the, sh if the, sh the shaman is the one who's influencing everyone, if we could find a way to sort of draw him out away from the king to say attack one, like a group of us, and we could go to the actual king who thinks he's Akaru and come up with something like there's someone in the place where we're from who's claiming to be you. And like, if you don't kill us, and the shaman's on that side, or something like that, because they're not the same people, so we might be able to use the king against the shaman. Hmm. If we convince him that he's working against you or something like that. If, well, if you keep in mind that he's a, like, figurehead, he's been placed in this position of power, right? Like, he, I doubt that he's going to leave it soon, and it's not like he doesn't know that he's like not at the root i mean there's a small chance that that's the possibility but i mean i i feel like they might be it's closer that they're in leagues than they are anything else i think like that kind of just splits our party not a not a great way um it would be possible, though. You know how you were saying, like, stop the dryads from letting anyone run away? Maybe they could stop anyone from getting into our battle space. So if we own, if we were only battling the shaman, fake yeah. Akaru and the shaman, or even just the shaman, it would be a lot easier action economy-wise. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. Having that and 80 guards. <laughs> I think, okay, here's my guess, right? And I could be wrong and it could fuck everything up, but uh, <laughs> my guess is it's the lizard that's holding the dryad inside that large tree hostage. Um, we kill the lizard, the dryad regains control of the tree, right? We wait for them to enter to go see the lizard, right? And then the dryad will... I, I'm assuming she's going to help us out, considering the fact that we freed her, right? Could yeah. lock down that courtyard that they have walled off, like you said. So, we have an enclosed area. We have, uh, like, the tree on our side. We have <laughs> and, a reason uh, for the uh, dryads to help us. Yeah, exactly. So... 
And I don't think it matters too much how many like peons we have to deal with afterwards. Like if we have to deal with them all at the same time with the shaman, that's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> but like yeah, if we have to deal story. with like, you know, just like a big horde of them afterwards, we'll try to explain our way out. And if that doesn't work, we just fight our way out or run. So I don't think explaining will work considering they've got a spear of bodies next to us. Yeah, good point. But like what well, well we could explain that we're not bloodthirsty murderers while holding the head of their severed shot. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sure that'll work. <laughs> I'm not sure bloodthirsty was the right word either, because we I I am definitely bloodthirsty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not bloodthirsty. We just got vials of blood here in your shaman's head and I'm not drinking it. <laughs> it's it's all completely morally justified if you can take the time to listen to this eight hour long presentation with PowerPoint slideshow. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, good point. But I think beyond anything, we should definitely go to the tree. So, yeah. at least to see. Okay, is that the plan then? Head to this tree? Being very careful. Mm. So don't get shot down. Yes, very careful. Okay, uh, let's get everyone to roll a uh, stealth check for me. Your horse is summoned, by the way, Marcus. Just Yeah. I'm going to not roll stealth. I'm going to ride Tempest okay. and try to um, cause a distraction. Not a distraction, but something. Well, uh, yeah, actually, is it would. Mm -hmm. uh, something yeah. to shoot at that isn't my party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so your party tries to sneak one way, and you ride. Um, the party makes it. Tis. No one shoots at you. Which I think is interesting. Um, okay. The wall surrounding the tree um, is in two parts. There is a wall of thick brambles, which look like they would be painful to go through. Uh, and behind it, an iron grate made of cold iron. If you were to walk around to the front of this where it would be relatively easier to walk in, you would be certainly seen by guards. So I didn't put you there because you would be able to see that you would be seen by guards if you went that way. So. Um, how wide are the gratings? Mm. Yeah, uh, about two inches of space between each of the grates, but the brambles in front of it are much, are very thick. There's no space in between them. You'll just rip yourself to shreds if you go through in a direct way. Wow. So that's not even enough. It's only about a 20 foot tall wall, tall wall. So. Pineapple can't go through solid things can he you could throw him over <laughs> see this is why it's much much better to have emily in charge of pineapple i would just be like all right football time <laughs> he did he did have wings before can i give him wings again and let him fly over <laughs> sure yeah that's much better <laughs> okay what? type of brambles are these are these like big vines where we could possibly cut off the uh thorns or are they like uh small like really really small razor sharp ones uh they are small razor sharp ones um sort of like overgrown rose hedges except without the roses uh and um pineapple flies up and over and i just i can't help but see I'm seeing like um, when the baby in uh, Spirit Away gets turned into the hamster and then the little head, head person gets turned into the flying creature and they fly around with, okay, sorry. I just see pineapple just 
sinking in the wings um a little bit <clears throat> anyway um so they fly over uh the hedge and um yeah pineapple looks down uh it's a very peaceful looking grove um it's got a large tree in the middle of it uh and s like on the front perched on the front of the tree is a lizard that looks like it's painted gold um it's pretty big though it's probably about like s maybe eight feet for a lizard it's about the size of a horse Familiars can't talk, can they? <laughs> mm. Can't talk to the lizard. Um... Oh, actually, he can. Well, in a really, really weird way. I'm not sure if this counts, but a while, while ago, there was like the deal with touch spells that, mm -hmm. like, yeah. although you'd have to, like, essentially um, land pineapple onto said lizard so and then you could probably have like tiss uh or I, i'm not even sure if it's is speak with animals a cantrip no okay. First level. Yeah, so have i have it though tiss. yeah uh so you could have tiss speak through you through pineapple <laughs> into the lizard but only if like pineapple's touching the lizard which is concerning um well, I have tongues, and it lasts an hour, so I'd only have to touch it once, and then it could fly off. Oh, yeah. But that only means that it can understand me, not that I can understand it. Oh, yeah. And what about the guard patrol? We might be able to just enter if we can take out the guards, and me and Asma could probably do that. Or even you and Asma, because you have invisibility. I'm unsure. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling there's going to be like a lot of guards. Uh, well, yeah, so notice. Pineapple looking around sees that there are like four guards at the front entrance, but they're looking ahead. Uh, they're not looking back into this place. Can the lizard see Pineapple? Oh, that's a good question. Is Pineapple being stealthy? Um... No, <laughs> probably not, to be honest. And the lizard crawls around the tree and, like, looks one of its eyes at Pineapple. Can Pineapple do a little wave? <laughs> Who are you? It speaks. It speaks. Uh... I can't speak through pineapple. Pineapple has no vocal cords. <laughs> if you um, lead them to the fence, we could all speak with it. Yeah? Could I ask pineapple to do a little like, gesture towards where we are? Are you a tricksy pet? Do you belong to someone? Yes. <laughs> To a wizard? Pineapple no. <laughs> a wizard who wants to steal something from us. No. <laughs> a wizard no. who is tricksy and is lying through you. No. Don't you wish to be <laughs> free of this wizard? What would pineapple do in that situation? I don't know what pineapple would do. Uh, pineapple, I mean, Pineapple's quite comfortable with you. Pineapple likes you. Yeah, I think Pineapple likes you. It's me that should be concerned about. <laughs> a wizard <laughs> that treats you badly, that throws you like a football, <laughs> and leaves you to drown. Poor Pineapple. <laughs> Pineapple's like, no nope. character. We're good. <laughs> it builds resentment. <laughs> Can you speak little hermit crab creature thing pineapple is not a crab but no I'll speak <laughs> then cease your prattle annoy someone else can pineapple just look really sad and put like the puffy eyes on <laughs> yeah, roll, roll, pineapple can roll a persuasion check 
I don't know. What Which do you think? Should I give a cuteness bonus to, to, to pineapple? <laughs> well, it is puppy He's dog perfect. eyes. Mm -hmm. If he's, he's very cute and fluffy, so I think he should get a bonus. <laughs> I'm checking. I'm just checking. I'm just checking, 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 checking. If anything, it's a tastiness bonus because he's a lizard, but... <laughs> Yeah. I, love, I love his expression. I went from like very happy to utter shock. He has a plus three. Aww. Oh, thank you. He's so cute. So it's one D20 plus three. I can do The taste in this bonus. Very well. <laughs> Climbs down from the tree. Yes. Wait, all the way down. He won't be able to see us through the brumbles. <laughs> And uh, walks towards where Pineapple is. So he's now on like the other side of a fence from you guys, basically. He can't see through. But he's there. Um, I think Sally is going to like come out of Pineapple's senses and into her own and kind of just kind of go like, Hi, are you there? Maybe. Is this the Trixie wizard? I'm not Trixie. <laughs> Is that some um, sort of trick? No. <laughs> you cannot take my prize. I wasn't, I'm not going to take anything. I, I wanted to ask you a couple questions. Nagel, more information than I intend to give. How much information do you intend none. to give? I give none. Oh. Set yourself up for failure then, haven't you? You and leaves with that shaman fellow. Why? Um... Well, I'm going to look towards everybody else. Should I just be honest with this creature? <laughs> I feel like I, it wouldn't hurt exactly. Because likely or not, we could just kill it. We're not going to kill it, but I don't think it would like us lying. <laughs> yeah, fair. All right. All right. Um, yeah, so we're here to kill that shaman and uh, possibly the goblin king and two. Uh, the whole resetting the society nope, thing. I, oh, I will eat you. Oh, so you are. I did not say that. But I will eat you if you come in here. This is my treat, mine. Ah. And uh, what makes it your tree? Do you follow the. <laughs> I own it. All right. You it's know, given some... to me. Oh, given to you by the shaman? By the king. Oh. We could give you something a lot larger. Maybe help us. I don't want largeness. I am quite happy with the size of my tree. You don't thirst for the power that could be given to you? What power? Oh, I'm talking a temple laden in gold. I don't want gold. I'm good. You're made of gold. It would look quite suiting on you. I look suiting everywhere. I am made of gold. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, roll an insight check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
then uh, the next conclusions are your conclusions. I will give you nothing. <laughs> Fair enough. Can I tell whether you said he looked like he was painted gold? Mm. So he's not actually made of gold. Yeah, you can actually see that there's certain like paint somewhere like flecks off a little bit and there's just green gecko color underneath. He's just a normal lizard. He's just a normal big oh. lizard. Giant painted lizard. Painted gold. You're right. Giant is a bit giant is a cool word. I don't wanna I don't wanna make him sound cool. He's a big lizard. <laughs> we might actually be able to use that though. <laughs> His pride may be his downfall. He is pretty prideful. Let's yeah. try. You know, it'd be weird if somebody found out that you weren't actually gold. What? I am gold. Hey. I am gold and glorious. Know. And I live really? forever. I can see a flake of uh, that paint chipping off right there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Starts spinning around. You can't see because, you know, there's brambles <laughs> in the way. So you are totally lying to <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I know that you're telling like sorry the truth but you're trying to also like upset him so there's an intent here uh the intent is to uh use his ego to get him on our side but yeah uh, i don't know if you can pull off the full intent but you can certainly start trying okay we could give you a fresh coat of paint if you like nobody would have to know of course mm. Yeah, roll that deception. <laughs> you trying to take my tree from me? We, we just tree. said we just said you can have your tree. We're just offering you something better. Everyone wants my tree. Come here. Try to steal. You know, I'm not really. I'm not very interested in your tree, to be honest. It looks like a pretty, pretty normal tree to me. Any it is not normal. It is special. Any uh, normal big lizard could be in this tree. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, only like because like if you think about it, normal lizards hide out in the woods and trees. I haven't seen a lizard inside of a temple, to be honest. Like, yeah, you know, real, real gold giant lizards. They they would be in buildings. They would easily be in buildings. <laughs> Basically, like dragons, to be honest. Like that's that's what we've heard, anyways. Dragons like, aren't real. Dragons aren't real. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's 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 the mythology, though. They always have these super nice big old caves, and either that or they're clutched down in a tower or a temple. All the good books say so, and. Uh, <laughs> What but they also her? live forever. Oh, you are going to live forever? Yeah. Not if you don't have a temple. As long as, <laughs> no, as long as I have my tree. Oh. Uh, does your tree give you eternal life? I didn't say that. Hmm, thought so. You're not going to live forever. <laughs> my tree gives me eternal life. Shh. <laughs> but it doesn't save sure that, that appearance of yours. <laughs> Like, I think it's the appearance that's, like, most important, right? I'd say... What's good of the appearance... What's good of the appearance... What's good of the appearance... What's good of my appearance if I if I don't live forever? What if I just die? I, I want to be a gold dragon. See, living forever is nothing close to the immortality that will be given to you. Have you seen, like... I don't know if you've explored any of the local area, but like there are sculptures and statues. Imagine hundreds of yourself, all not in painted gold, but in actual gold. And the irony of this is that it only really happens if you live a good life, have a big temple, and die. Kings and kings and kings before you. I'd rather have a journal life. What's your name? My name? Your name. Brachilia Lakaka. See, I've I've never heard of that name. Doesn't sound like a gold kind of name. It's a dragon name. A dragon. Mm. I thought you said dragons don't exist. Huh? They don't. I'm going to be the first. Ah. And you um. plan to do that without your temple? 
I intend to do that with living forever and being gold. And you can almost I see don't think... green. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you become a dragon by just doing the same thing you've always done. I mean, you're not a dragon right now. I am closer to dragon than you with your fleshy pink bits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, did he have say to that emoji with the dragon that he saw? Because he was the um, only one to be a dragon. Yeah, obviously true. Yeah, he did. He did mention it, but he didn't really say like who the dragon was, where it was, in general. Yeah. We just know that he's yeah, a dragon. Mm -hmm. So you're just remembering the time that she did actually have dragon scales on her face. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that too. Mm, they've gone now though. <laughs> Shame. Shame. Uh, what else can we attack this guy for? We've attacked his gold, and we've attacked the fact that he's not a dragon. <laughs> Hold on a second. I may have something. Aha, uh -huh, so five foot cube with minor illusion. Oh, wait a second. Mm -hmm. I got something even better, but it's going to take a level three spell slot. I'm going to use Alter Self. Ooh, Alter Self. Cool. What are you doing with that? Uh, I am going to... Oh, wait, let's see. Okay, so it's choose one. So natural weapons wouldn't... Uh, be like uh combined with change appearance but i'm going to see if i can uh turn myself dragon like but like mm -hmm. a gold dragon essentially what i would imagine a dragonborn sure yeah guess, we can't like... see you let's remind i want to remind you that right there's um yeah there's brambles and a fence in the way right now but you look rather substantially like a gold dragon all right uh i'm going to see if i Wait, should I cut through the brambles? I don't think you can cut through the brambles. We could set them on fire. Uh, that would attract, the, attract the attention of the guards, though. Yeah, but I can use control flames. I can make sure that only part of it burns away. I think the issue is, like, uh, putting out the fire. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, that's fine. But, uh... Fuck. All right, let me see if I can't do this. Um... Could I get, like, anything that might burn out of my alchemy kit? Sure. Yeah, you want uh, acid. Yeah, just, like, some, something very, very... Oh, wait, I have Firebolt, too. Yeah. It's, so, like, I guess, like, flavor-wise, I want to see if we can pass it off as me actually breathing fire. Uh, breathing <laughs> fire through your... Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Do so you want to breathe fire onto the brambles? Is that the idea? Yeah. Yeah, why don't you roll a performance check for me? All right, cool. Can I just say, like, before he does it, um, mm -hmm. like, for the lizard, you might want to stand back a second. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fuck up the roll. <laughs> you, you look like a dragon, and you breathe fire. And as you breathe this fire outwards, it pierces the brambles and starts to char them. And you hear the tree start to scream. Oh shit! I do. That's where we're going to take our break. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Thank you.
Wow, we're back. Hey, everyone, uh, we are back. Welcome back to the Sarkis of Shimmering Sea. As always, I like to take a moment here at the top of the second hour to encourage you, yes, you, to examine the situation in your life. Think about who you are, uh, what it is that you do with your life, and how you spend your time, and wonder if there is a way that you could help someone else. Um, helping people is one of the true goods in the world, from my perspective. I think that if you honestly are able to aid someone and help them in their developmental journey, that is something that can make a huge difference to them and honestly to you as well. So please look for a way to help someone in your life today. See what that means for you. Figure out how to do that. It's impactful, powerful, and good. Also, if you are enjoying this show, we've got other shows on this channel. You should check some of them out. We've got shows, two shows on Thursdays. That's this show that you're in the middle of watching right now and our Thursday evening show, The Assassination of Primark Mike Lee Black Guys, which currently is investigating a crazy uh, cursed city. Well, it's about to investigate a crazy cursed city. They've got a crazy, crazy cursed city to investigate, so that'll be fun. And then uh, our Sunday game, which is um, the chosen few are back in the capital of Chalestra, Ray C, and they are dealing with all sorts of uh, crazy problems there, uh, trying to figure out how to brainwash an evil Primark. That may have some repercussions that may affect all our campaigns. I don't know. And by I don't know, I mean it definitely will. Okay. And uh, they're also trying to figure out how to break curses. So with that, back into this game. So um, you breathe fire, or at least give the performance of breathing fire, and uh, looking like a golden dragonborn, and uh, you burn some of this tree. Uh, rather, some of the brambles surrounding the tree, and you hear the tree scream in agony. Uh, Zerial, what does that cause you to do, or what does that cause anyone to do? Uh, that is very concerning. Uh, can the lizard see through the hole? Uh, not yet. You barely started when you could do this. Maybe, maybe a little. He seemed to recognize that you were Golden Dragonborn, or like you know, you were something dragon-like. Okay. Um... That might be good enough, hopefully. What do you guys think? I think you should stop. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to stop. Okay. Does the tree stop screaming? The screaming stops, yes. You hear like a gasp panting instead. Was that from a single fire uh, firebolt? Mm -hmm. Did you roll damage uh, check? Nope. Although you're welcome to Jack if you're curious. Um, I did not roll damage. Also, that. not that I'm against it. I just hadn't thought about it. It seems um... like it's fire. Can we tell, like, apart from just it's coming from the tree, mm -hmm. can we tell where the panting is coming from? Like, is it coming from inside the tree or in front of the tree or, like, low or mm -hmm. in the leaves? Yeah, roll a perception check for me. <laughs> mm. The big lizard turns and uh, skedaddles back to the tree quickly and oh. starts, like, licking it. Oh, yeah, yeah, licking it's the coming from the core of the tree. So it's probably the tree rather than like the dryad, I suppose. Did, did the dryad live in the tree? Mm -hmm. Dryads live in trees. But like in the tree is in on the branches within. or like inside the tree? Within the tree. That's right. it is the dryad. Ugh. That is unfortunate. If it can scream and we can hear it, presumably it can hear us. Yeah, I think you see um, you hear as uh, the guards uh, come in and start looking around. I was going to say, like, sorry <laughs> to the dryad, but can't do that if the guards are going to hear us. How many guards are inside currently? Just four right now. Okay. Ooh. And they're within uh, the wall or the fence. Mm -hmm. If yeah, they've entered inside the fence. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, we should run. <laughs> I mean, your guys are on the other side of the fence, so they're not, like, in danger of being spotted in some ways. Right? They'd have yeah. to look very thoroughly to see, like, you guys. Even with this little flame burned hole. Yeah. Um, we want to get inside the fence. 
while doing the garden. So, can we skirt around the brambles until we reach the entrance? Sure, yeah, absolutely. Um, hmm. Let me see what happens. Yeah. yeah, so as you skirt around the brambles towards the entrance, um, you can't help but see the temple. Uh, it's impossible not to see the temple from here because the temple uh, from here is very big and this tree is actually relatively close to the temple. Um, and you see like a lot of people, mostly goblins milling about, in fact, entirely goblins. Uh, oh no, goblins and halflings. Um, mostly goblins, uh, some halflings uh, milling about um, in general, just sort of wandering around and looking around. You see a lot of them armed in various perspectives. You see a large statue of um, someone on top of, at the top of the stairs in the back of the temple. There's like this large statue. Um, I want uh, Tis. Can you roll a perception check for me? Uh, Eighteen. That statue looks like a bizarre, weird combination of the Akarut that you saw. Like it's wearing all the right accoutrements of the real Akarut, but then like the face is totally different. That's some sort of weird, you know, normal goblin person face. Um, but it's a little ways away, so it's hard to see. Uh, so if you guys want to sneak into the grove though, uh, the gate is sort of like, there is the door to the grove is sort of like right in the line of sight of these people. Uh, so you have to find a way to sneak if you want to go through the door or through the gate. Mm -hmm. Are there any trees near the uh, perimeter? Just this one big one, really. Okay. Um. Well, really, the only person that we need to hide is is Tiss with us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the only person we really need to hide is Tiss because mm -hmm. I can always cast invisibility on one of you, mm. and me and Zeriel can misty step. Uh, I don't have my misty step. Although fly is an option, I can technically misty step. Oh yeah, sure. I have one left. Can I use pineapple to see whether there's anywhere within range of a misty step that we can like? I mean, you can go. use a misty step through the wall if you want to head into the if you want to head into the grove, the secret gro the sacred grove. Um, of course, that is an option. And we won't be in line of sight no the grove has the huge wall and brambles around it so the thing that was a barrier to you before if you can fly over it you could fly over it and if you could misty step through it you could misty step through it that's both those are very valid um yeah here i'll move what map you're on so you can see a little better i'm not saying you can see perfectly but just for the record uh this is the gate right Oh, I'm going to use an action, actually, to uh, transform myself a little bit more. Okay. What do you want to transform uh, yourself into more? I am going to essentially make myself look like the brambles to see if I can get, like, some bonus towards my stealth. Sure, yeah, I'll give you a plus five. Roll a, roll a stealth check. Uh, add five. Stealth is not my highest, but that's fine by me. I think a 25. 27 works. Nice. Gotta love it. Um, yeah, so you you, you stealth. Uh, you want to get in? Uh, yeah, <coughs> if I can. Okay. Sounds good to me. Um, um, okay, yes. Yeah. You sneak in, um, hiding in the brambles, uh, and you see the golden salamander is sort of like arguing with the people uh, and there's like two of them arguing with him and two of them are sort of looking around can you hear what he's arguing about yeah they don't seem to be arguing in common huh. do they happen to be arguing in ancient priyani <laughs> yes as long as you are there to hear them you could understand them ah cool um i don't think zeriel can though nope no I got under common though. <laughs> Less useful. That'll work eventually. 
Um, so, Tiss, when Misty stepped through, hmm. Lyra is currently the only one who doesn't have a way through. Is that correct? She can sneak. I fully believe it. I think you muted Lyra if you said something. Oh, no, there we go. Um, I can either use invisibility to come through or I can try and sneak through, but that relies on rolling. <laughs> you know what hey can we at least like just test it to see like how it works like not no, no, no. if you're can... doing it you're doing it you can either <sighs> sneak or you can invisibility but you can't both you can't say you're doing one and wait to see how well it goes and then do the other mm. oh, i just want to see the roll <laughs> does so the other. That... um they're not going to be tall are they the, like the goblins or whatever no no um I'm thinking of the scale of like ability of being able to like almost like use the wounds and like I guess use the thorns. No, use the walls. Well, like wait, um, I know we're going through that bit. But scale we actually use. You want to scale the thorns? No, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um. Uh, I can use I, invisibility. <laughs> I, I kind of want to use stealth just so I think it'll be funny. Do it, do it, stealth it. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm thinking of a reasonable way to actually do it. Mm. I mean, if you you are a rogue, so there's shadows like that are dark that are cast by this bright sun-like object in the middle of the sky, uh, sky-like thing. Um, so there's shadows that you could hide in. There's like this is just a brambled wall. It's not impossible for you to sneak in. Take a couple of big banana leaves and just like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You could just do the same thing that I did. I mean, part of what she wears is almost some kind of cloak. So I could just use that to like come vital to sneak in. I guess. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, stealth check. <laughs> Here what? it comes. I've Here got it plus comes. Nice. Plus thirteen. You rolled a two. You didn't even roll one, so you could <laughs> I, I am I want to point out that that, that is, <clears throat> right now, statistically speaking, that is the worst possible thing you could have rolled. It is. <laughs> a one would have been better, but you don't even get that. But guess what? It's still good enough. Because <clears throat> their perception is 14, so you're good. Celia, this, are you guys heading in? I'm just going to misty step three. Okay. So they must be steps through, Tiss. Uh, so, so the entrance is in view of the guards that have just entered. They, they are the guards that have entered are inside the area, to sort of arguing with the salamander at the tree. Um, the problem with the door is that it's in view of like the courtyard with all the other people in it. Oh, um, I see. Like a, a ways away, so like they could ambush you from behind or something like that. You know. Oh, speaking of once. Uh... As I get or once Lyra gets in, I was gonna do this. The gates are the same as the bars, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a pair of the manacles that I got and I'm gonna mm -hmm. snap them on the gates. Nice. Ooh, yeah. nice. So. Okay. <laughs> manacles. Just, you're now way. locked out. Do you want to miss you step in with your? Oh horse? yeah, yeah. I was going <laughs> to anyway, and I was gonna do that. I was gonna try to do that too. So. I'm All totally right, done. Dude. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, so now there's the four of you and a horse, um, inside this single grove with a with a tree in it the uh with the tree we've got four guards and a um salamander as well as the tree itself and the guards turn uh startled as they hear the gates click close and see a horse and a person <laughs> a couple other people as well oh and i'm gonna change back to the dragon i gotta keep that appearance up okay that's fine with me uh, and that does get rid of an action though, so I guess I skip the first turn. No, I'll give you that for free. Cool. Uh, for right here. Um, but uh, it will prevent you from being involved in getting the drop on these people if that's okay. Yeah, please. Cool. Uh, then I'd like everyone to roll um initiative if you don't mind. Um, did I ever? hear what they were talking about or like even get a gist of no, what they I were think... arguing about no. 
hell. <laughs> we, we, we're not rolling uh, too great on the initiative order, are we? For once, Lyra rolled pretty high. <laughs> oh my god, she did. Mm, well, 15 is, isn't like the, the highest, but you know. It, it is pretty high. <laughs> Considering that you got, Lyra, don't knock a, it. <laughs> you got a 15 with a plus 13 to sell. <laughs> 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 I was playing a one shot the other day, and my character had a plus fourteen to their initiative bonus. With alert, Jesus. yeah. Okay. They were part war wizard, part um, archer, psionic archer thing. And that mm -hmm. war wizard gives you your intelligence bonus to your initiative as well. So I had a plus nine plus, and then I'm just like, I'm already at plus nine. Might as well take alert just for the fun of it. Um, <laughs> And then I did. Um, okay, let's get a tree. Nope, wrong thing. Tree. Yeah. Do you want to avoid attacking the lizard, by the way? Yeah, we'll avoid attacking the lizard. I mean, if the lizard's going to be attacking us. <laughs> yeah, that's the big one. But I don't think he'll attack me, considering that he idolizes dragons so much. <laughs> do you not think wrong. Do you think everyone else knows that he's not really made of gold? Because if they don't, we can wash off some of the gold and show everyone. Well, we wouldn't want to do that unless it's like a last resort, because that would cause them to get really aggravated. Oh yeah, but like, just a thought. Yeah. Pulling a lizard out of it. <laughs> the tree. I can a big lizard. I can't make him gold, but I can make him big. Cool, 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 cool. Um. Okay. So. Um. Let's uh. Let's let's discuss the scene for a second because I'm not really using a map here. Um, we've got, uh, this large tree, uh, in the middle of this grove. Around this grove, we've got, um, fair bit of space, actually. It's a pretty big gro grove. Uh, there's a gold-painted salamander lizard thing on the tree, and it seems to be arguing with two guards while two other guards search around the tree, uh, looking for, well, honestly, you guys. Meanwhile, you guys have closed the gate and locked it. It's a little ways away from um, the other place, but the real thing that you got to be wary of is that if someone is smart here, then what they will do is they will spend a turn inhaling and then scream, spend an action screaming as loud as they can. And that will bring down all of the enemies upon you, which would be bad. Oh, boy. Okay. Celia. That does make it your turn. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just joking. Um, you okay? Huh. Okay, so we want to... We want to make them quiet. <laughs> mm. Is the aim. Mm. Um, which we probably could if we used, like... Can we all... Uh, aim for like a lower for a higher um, for a lower chance of hitting but then if we do hit it would do it would like I don't know, hit sure, the eyes and blind yeah, what do you want to do you tell me what you want to do I'll rule uh, keep in mind um, also I have I want to aim Sleep. Yeah, but they need to like it's sleep hit points that matter. <laughs> yeah, like because it essentially overflows on hit points, right? Like I make a roll, and that determines how many uh, hit points worth of people that I can cause to sleep. So um, essentially, like if they're lower on hit points, it's easier to get them to just get straight up knocked out. So any damage whatsoever would actually work. 
I was thinking, uh, can I aim with magic missile? What are you intending to aim at, Wardu? I want to aim for their head slash throats so they can't scream. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll allow that. Or maybe their stomachs, because then they would be winded. Sure, we'll be that's what I mean. Whatever you think is appropriate. Probably the stomach would probably be easiest to aim at. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want to hit... There's four of them, yeah? There's four of them, yeah. Can I aim one at each one? Sure. Uh, you might not cross the damage threshold, though, that you would need to cause them to actually become winded. Oh, I see. Um, in which case, they would I'll still aim two at one, two at the other. Yes. Can I can I aim to one at two the other? Yeah, go for it. Oh, got it. You shot four. Sorry, I wasn't even looking. Um, yeah, absolutely, no problem. Uh, actually, I'm gonna pull out four guys. Okay. Uh, and you're doing seven to one and seven to another. Yeah. Okay. Still might not be enough, but. <laughs> well, we'll find out. There we go. So bam, 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 bam. Uh, four magic missiles just launched from Celia and just ram, ramshackle right into the stomachs of uh, two of these fellas. Uh, Lyra, that opens it up for you. Um, is this area sort of covered by direct sunlight? Uh, it's at an angle from here. Uh, the sun is now to your east. Okay. Um, so the shadows along all the eastern walls. Does that does their sun work in the same way as because it's there? It's all the time that they're used to a hot climate. They're used to what? Like a hot climate. Um, it's a little warm, but it's not like uh, unnaturally warm or anything like that. Um. Okay, I think I'll try and hide in whatever sort of shadow I can initially to cast the spell. Okay, so you're um, hiding into the, on the eastern side of the wall. That seems reasonable. A horse is teleported in, so I'm perfectly comfortable with that. Um, and I'll cast. Uh, I forgot what it was. Okay. Um, frost fingers. Frost fingers. Is that what you said? Yes. Cool. Let's see it. Sure. It's, oh, I need to change the thing. Set this up last time. Con saves, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, and I have a magical ambush, so if I'm hidden, then they have disadvantage on the saving throw. Cool. Okay. First one gets 14, second one gets 13, third one gets. 17 last one gets 15 so i think they all still succeed um but they still take some damage so why don't you roll that 2d8 for me that's the key but you're making them roll instead of you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they all take five points of cold damage as they feel the chill of winter upon them uh the dryad doesn't know what to do and so does nothing. The salamander is uncertain what to do because of the gold dragonborn on the field. And so we'll do nothing. Zero, you're up. Okay, diddly dokely. Um, <laughs> so let's see. She wanted to. Um, I'm just going to see if I can't cast sleep. I'll start with the two that aren't winded. Um, Are you sure? These guys look tough. Oh, uh, how tough do they look? How much does sleep do on average? 5d8? Uh, yeah, let me see. 5d8, yeah. 
you're not getting any of these guys. <laughs> okay, good good to know. Yeah. Um, yeah, then in that case, I am simply going to um, let's see. I'm actually going to use my action surge because it's better that like yeah. we have this done other than uh, not. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to see if I can run up to one of the ones that aren't winded. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack mm -hmm. uh, like booming blade normal stuff. So mm -hmm. give me a second. Oh wait, that's wrong one. Uh, all right, shadow blade. And then... Eight digits. Shadow Blade. 17 misses. Okay. And then three Booming Blade damage. Yeah. Uh, damage. And then Action Surge. I am going to cast Cold Person. Nice. On the other one? Um, hmm. Okay, or so. Not when did it all. Did it. Well. Fuck, that's so hard because, like. I get advantage, or he gets disadvantage mm. if I use the one that I just hit. Sure. Well, you can leave the other one up to Tiss or not worry about it, because I did say it would take two turns. I think Tiss has got it. I'm, I'm confident in my boy. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, I'm, I'm casting it on him. Okay, yeah. Disadvantage on this. What's the save? Wisdom? Uh, give me one second, because I have to ruin it. I've just never used this. Mm -hmm. uh, cast at what value? Oh, I can cast it at a higher value. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. What's the third? If I cast the third level, I can. I'll uh, get you one more person. Yeah, it will. So, and I don't really need anything else. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast it at the third level. Let's let's go. Okay. Um, okay. Doesn't get you anything else, but one of the people is held. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh looks like i unintentionally skipped the uh, bad guys turns because i was busy thinking that the salmon wasn't the, the lizard wasn't doing anything uh, so i'm gonna have them go now my bad um archers to the four first tis <laughs> uh you're a big target and a horse uh 16 to hit i miss and a nine to hit. And a twenty-two to hit. That hits. Plus two. For fourteen points of damage. Second archer uh, is also going to attack you, Tiss. Eighteen to hit. Miss. Fourteen to hit. And a twenty-four to hit. For twelve points of damage. And uh, then let's uh, have a great sword person attack uh, Magic Missile Girl over there, Celia. Hope you're doing okay. Yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, great sword. That's what we like to see. 12 to hit. Miss. 20 to hit. Hit. <laughs> 12 to hit. So one mi two misses, one hit. That is going to be, wow, 46 plus 5 slashing damage. Slash roll. Definitely typed that wrong. Slash roll 4d6 plus 5. 17 points of damage. Oh, damn. And Tiss, um... Oh, nope, I've got one more dude, don't I? Uh, yeah, they are not concerned about calling for help. They wanna, they think they can win. Zeriel, you're gonna be attacked. Oh. Crit! <laughs> 15 to hit for the second one. 22 to hit for the third one. Alright, uh... I am going to. Hmm. Uh, so, wait, is uh, any of these with a melee attack? How many? Yes, these are great sword attacks. Okay. Um, I can add the plus four to AC. Let's see if that matches. It matches, so it wouldn't really do much. Um, the issue is, is I'd have to drop. Like, it, I think this is right. I'd have to drop hold person in order to cast a shield. No. Oh, Hold okay. concentration. Shield's not concentration. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think I am going to go with shield. Okay, so you're going to negate the third attack? Yeah, I'm going to negate... Oh, yeah, because the second one is already negated. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Um, so, but the first one's a crit, so that still hits. So uh, double my dice. 36 points of damage. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, and to maintain that hold person, uh, you're going to need to uh, roll a constitution saving throw. Yes, and I should have advantage. You I do. Think. DC is 18. Okay. Um, so wait, it's a... Uh, what do I roll? Constitution saving throw at advantage. Oh, constitution. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's so 16, bad. not quite good enough. Tiss, that makes it your turn. Uh, so there's a few that are already injured. Yes, I think all of them are injured. Oh, all of them? Um, I'd, I'd like to position myself so that if I take one down with one hit, I would have one uh, within reach. Or sure. actually, you can, yeah. you can split up attacks with movement, right? Yep, no problem. Okay, yeah, so I, I'd just like to go to the most injured. Okay, yeah, this one uh, is not looking good. It looks like it's had a shadow blade stabbed through it recently uh, and only just shook off a whole person spell. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to swing on it. Mm -hmm. Swing away. 20 hits. <clears throat> nice. 12 damage. Beautiful. Still standing. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just swing again. Mm -hmm. 15 does not hit. Oof. That beautiful 2 again that you guys like rolling so much. Anything else you're doing on your turn? Uh, yeah. Um, sorry, one sec. Oh. I'll cast uh, um, Shield of Faith on Celia. Okay, Celia, Shield of Faith, plus two to AC. Thank you. <laughs> I'm down to 53 hit points. How, yeah, how bad is everyone right now? I'm down like, to how 30. 30? Yeah. Okay. So as long as I don't crit, you're probably okay. Um, cool. Now the Salamander doesn't know what it's going to do. Uh, now it is Celia's turn again. Uh huh. <laughs> um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so confused. Um, am I close to any of them? There was one that just used a great sword on yep. me. So. Uh, you're right next to me. Um, I'm gonna gra grapple it using hemomantic grass. Cool. Let's see if I can dodge that. That's a deck save for me. Yep, DC twelve. I think it's actually DC sixteen. I'm pretty sure you have that input wrong. Oh. I get a five either way though. Cool. <laughs> Grappled. Uh, sixteen points of damage. Yeah. Um, yes. Cool. I like that. That's not good at all for me. I love it. <laughs> Anything else you want to do on your turn? Um, no. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm busy focusing on this spell. Oh, a uh, point of clarification. That is a reaction spell. Is it? So you can actually have done that as a reaction. That did not need to have used up your turn at all. When someone strikes you, you can just do this as a response. That's interesting. Yes. So do I still have a turn? Yes. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, I'm going to use Magic Mythal again. Okay. Um, with the other three. With the other three. Let's do it. Plus four, plus three. One of them is looking rough, rough, rough. Uh, two of them are looking fine. Lyra, that makes it your turn. Um, still presumably hidden from the rest of them. Um, mm -hmm. And they're all not that far from, apart from each other. Um, I'm going to cast Ice Storm. Nice. Onto all of them. Okay, this is a deck save for me. Much better for you. And I've got disadvantage because you're hidden. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I get a three on my first roll. Get a nine on my second roll. Get a 10 on my third roll. Get a five on my fourth roll. That's max to all of them. So could you please roll uh, 4d6 and 2d8? Okay. 
Wow. Beautiful. 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 That's 17 damage to each and every one of them. Okay. That one's doing badly. That one is doing roughly. This one is, shall we say, holding on. And this one is bad. Okay, cool. Uh, the battle has turned badly for them. Um, the Dryad is still confused and doesn't know what to do, but these guys know what to do because they are violent, violent, violent little mofos. One of them is grappled. Uh, he is going to use his action to inhale deeply. Um, <laughs> this one that is almost dead is going to attack. Um, let's attack uh, Tiss again with a great sword. Tiss, you be strike death. 12. Tiss. Crit. Hit. Very much. Oh Crit. My God. Yeah, that's about it. That. I am sorry that I am critting twice. It's 25 on the first one and 36 on the second one. Yeah. Um, uh, 61? 51. 51? Mm -hmm. Nope, 61, you're right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I can't math. <laughs> um, one of the other ones is going to inhale, and the last one is going to take a shot at Lyra. Lyra, you have revealed yourself because of the spell, so I'm going to shoot at you. Does a 10 hit? My god, no. Does a 22 hit? Absolutely. And an 8. Cool. Uh, this one is beyond half the damage. So you take 6 points of damage, and this one uses second wind to heal itself. 20 hit points. In fact, I think None of them use bonus actions this turn, so I think they're all going to use one, second wind to heal themselves. 20 hit points. Ooh. I just realized I've been using uh, Shadow Blade wrong. I don't have any modifiers. <laughs> I didn't add my modifier to it. Uh, we discussed that. I gave I gave you your modifier because you thought Shadow Blade was cool, and I thought, yes, yeah, Shadow Blade is cool. You should be able to use that modifier. So we, oh, we just. Does, does it have it? Because it's only a 2d8. It would be, but uh, we homebrewed it. We house ruled it. Oh yeah, what I'm saying is it hasn't changed. We house ruled. My sheet. We house ruled it to be two d eight plus your dex mod. Oh okay, so I, I I okay I do need to change it. So. Okay, Zeriel, it's your turn. Uh, We've got two of these people inhaling deeply as if they want to scream loudly for help. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might need to use my uh, last old person here, but we'll, we'll try. Um, yeah, I'm just going... Oh, wait. I actually can't because I don't have... Well, I can, but it would be my entire turn. Yep. Ooh. Um, gotta think here. Any other spells that I have? Not really. I, I guess I'm just gonna have to trust in the dice here. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm going for hold person. Okay, who do you want to hold? Um I'm gonna hold the person in front of me. Okay. Sounds good to me. Wisdom safe, right? Um or yes. Looks like I would fail, except I've gotten Indomitable, so I'm going to try again. 13 still fails, though. <laughs> I am held. Boy. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. That's your turn? That's my action, uh, bonus action. I don't know. Do I have any cantrips that use a bonus action? Magic Stone. Uh, Do you have Magic Stone? Oh, Magic Stone now. Great, then you're good. Tis. Cool. Uh, I'm going to put my oxygen mask on first. I am going to use Lay on Hands uh, and use 40 points worth. Okay. And then I am going to shout over to the Dryad, we are trying to help you, um, your siblings, sent us. Yeah, roll a persuasion check. Uh, I cannot give you advantage. Okay. That is a success, though. 
um, and we see the salamander run up to the tree and say, do not listen, they are lies, it is Trixie. They're trying to lie to you. Do not trust them, do not trust them. Celia. Hi, um, I'm still grappling this guy. Yep. And he wants to yell. He does. I don't want him to do that. I don't think so. He is, he has to take a con save or okay. he takes 1d6 necrotic damage already. Okay, well, he's got mm. a pretty good con save, but he fails. I am going to increase the damage mm -hmm. by using my own health. <laughs> nice. And I am going to. Hang on, how much do I add? Uh, when casting. No. The bonus damage equals 10 plus the number of hit points spent to do so. So I am going to I am going to spend 10 hit points and add 20 damage. Wow, cool. Okay. 20 damage uh, and plus 1d6? Yeah. Roll that. 1d6, 1d6, 1d6. That is 25 damage. Yeah. That... Uh, wipes this person out. What does this look like when you do something like this? Um, well, the grapple is um, all of the blood from my wound, so probably mostly my shoulder. Mm. Um, like, almost becoming tendril-like, and then uh, reaching around this guy's throat and into his ears and around his arms and like pulling him down towards the floor and towards me. Um, and I think it probably looks like Celia almost exerting so much effort that blood flows out of her shoulder even more and just like wraps around this guy's whole head and just like drowns him in blood. <laughs> Myra. Um, can I gag someone with Mage Hand? No. Oh. Well. <laughs> okay. Um, um, is, is there one person who's still in Haven to try and yell? Yep. Okay. Can I will just try and shoot an arrow at, like, their abdomen. Where they're trying yep. to store yep. all of that. But poke. <laughs> Take that shot. Nope. 15 don't hit. Does it, does it count as being advantage because I can't see you? <laughs> uh, no, because you cast the spell at the end of your last turn. So they've, they have they know where you are. Oh. Um, otherwise, yes, it would. The dryad says something confused, like, but but you said my sisters were dead and that all I had was you. I, it is true. All you have is me. Everyone else is trekking and lying to you. Listen to me. Listen to me. You said it runs up to the tree to say this to it? Yeah. Does it leave my reach? Uh, was it in your reach to begin with? I'm not uh, certain. It is on the map. Oh, no, those are hexes, not... Uh, he's also not there. Like, realistically, you guys are all inside this thing. Okay. Like, you had also said it doesn't really know what else to do as well, so... Yeah. Yeah. Or they, I don't know. Um, he. Thank you for checking. Yeah, thank you. Um... <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, uh, one of the goblins releases a scream. Help! 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 Yes. And uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, two of the goblins that are left. Uh, one of them is dead. One of them is very close to dead. Okay. Um, we've got a great sword goblin. So, who was fighting with a great sword? Tiss was fighting with a great sword. Tiss, mm -hmm. you're being attacked again. I get three more attacks against you by a great sword goblin. Twenty-seven to hit. 20 to hit, crit. Oh, three hit. Yes. Why? You're rolling really good. 
Um, okay, you have injured this one seriously, though. Rather, uh, Celia injured this one seriously. Um, Slat means I am no longer at more than half my hit points, so I don't get my bonus damage, which is nice for you. Uh, so no more bonus damage. First hit does 14 damage. Second hit does 11 damage. And third hit, which is a crit, does 20 points of damage. So that is 45, 45. points of damage total. You still up? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm doing math. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I'm definitely up. Cool. Uh, archery is a thing that I have. Zeriel, you're being shot by an archer. Three attacks. Boy. 15, 16, 20. All right. Um, shit. This is, <laughs> this is an archer, too. I. Not an assassin. Yeah. Well, it's it's just the melee attack that makes the difference. Um, mm, got it. Uh, ta -ta. I'm... Although I am about half my points on this guy, so. Yeah, I'm debating. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'll uh, I'll use my uh. <laughs> shield. Okay. So. Absolutely. Okay, shield's been cast. Zero. It is your turn. All right. Um. So the guards obviously just called for help. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Um. What are we able to do? Should we run? I mean, you've barred yourself in. That is true, too. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, can... th I think that, like, um, mechanically speaking, you've got a second or two here. So I think we're really what we, we should be doing, this is just my take on this. If this is okay with people, I'm going to push for this slightly because it's D&D &D and we can pull away this. I think that realistically, uh, you guys should finish this fight and then we should plan for next week to be a, essentially a tower defense situation. Cool. Because I think that like they're equ equipped enough to get around you guys and surround you guys and try to attack you. Yeah. Uh, I think I think that's the plan realistically. So. Okay. Um, try and win this combat is what I would say. Yeah. Uh, so. I'll one... even say, ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start a ticker. Right now. The. Faster you beat this combat, the more time you will have to prepare traps and the like in the next for the next one okay does that make sense yes sir oh there we go let's do it oh i forgot that i had indomitable True. very useful for saving throws you even yeah. had to make it that's cool all right um yeah so i'm gonna but let's just go up to the What's it called? One that I've already been attacking. And yeah, the great sword guy. He's not doing so well. Yes. Uh, He's attacking Tiss and you, and that's always a mistake. Uh, I shot him. Beat him twice. Well, the first one will uh, miss because he is not, unfortunately, a. Uh, uh, at, you don't have advantage on this. And then the second one hits strongly. And then let's go for Boomer Blade. Mm -hmm. Plus nine and. Oh, wait, and damage to Shadow. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a plus four. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't, I didn't add the bonus. I was, like, looking through uh, what Shadow Blade was, because I was like, I, mm -hmm. I haven't upgraded this in, like, forever, and I wonder if it has an upgrade. Turns out it doesn't, but I also didn't actually put in the... Uh, correct attack. damage. Yeah, the correct damage. So... Fair enough. Well, that's a really bad roll. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, on the other hand, this guy looks really bad. Tiss, you're up. Um, the the great sword guy. You mean looks really bad? Yeah, he looks like shite. Okay, I'm gonna take one. Uh, I'm gonna take one long sword swing. Mm -hmm. Swing away. No, nope, um, sorry, he's still wearing plate armor. Okay, then I'm gonna uh, use hungry. Just gonna fight him. Fight him. Bonus action. Wait, that that's, a, that's a plus 13 on that 16. That was, that's that yeah. was almost Lyra's roll. keep rolling roll. so, so low. Uh, 14 to image from the Hungry Jaws? Is that true? Wow, Jesus. Uh, yeah, that absolutely demolished. Thank demolish you. Them. Thank you, Zero. <laughs> um, okay. And then I, I gained four hit points. Yep. Uh, um, you still have a second attack. I, I, I did the long sword on the bite. Isn't bite bonus action for you, Hungry Jaws? Is, oh, Hungry Jaws itself. Is yeah. I think. Um, I, I'm gonna double check, but 
Yeah, as a bonus action. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Um, okay. uh, is anybody else still standing? Yeah, there's uh, two long sword, uh, two longbow people. Or yeah, shortbow people. Okay, I'll get up right up to them. Yeah, swing one of them. Oh, Thirty-one you. definitely hits. Sixteen damage. Uh, you take down another one. There's one guy left standing. Uh, and the salamander uh, starts chanting, uh, and you see uh, gold ribbons appear around the tree. Celia, you are up. There's yes. one archer left. Um, how far away are they from me? Uh, about the 25 feet. Okay. And Tiss is right next to them, isn't he? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, you could aim it so that you're not going to hit Tiss if you're doing an AoE thing. Uh, the uh, the spell I was going to use uh, uses the 60 foot cone. So mm. I mean, you could aim definitely... a cone that way, right? Yeah? Okay. Um, I mean, it seems like overkill to me because it's one dude left. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> you, so you know, especially shortly. And if you really want to spend your spell slots before this big fight, I don't know. But. That's true. Um, I'll just use magic missile again. <laughs> magic missile super good. Also, your cantrips are super good. Just want to remind you of that always. Uh, five plus three plus three plus five. That is eight plus eight is sixteen points of damage. Cool. Uh, this person still barely above half health. Uh, Lyra, one guy left. Just is in melee with them. Um. Wait, if they're in melee, does that count as being able to use slip attack? Mm-hmm. Um, then I will just fire now and hope for the best. Take that shot. Do you want to aim first? Do I want to aim? Um, <laughs> well, no, because no, they're, they're like, to hit them, you have to have more than 15, and this takes off five, and I'm never going to roll anything. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you, Asma. Sorry. You know I should clarify. Uh, the new release, or relatively new release in uh, November, uh, created a secondary rule for uh, rogues where you could stand still and spend a bonus action to aim in order to get advantage on your attacks. Oh, I didn't know mm -hmm. this. Then I will do that. <laughs> okay, that is all I meant. I didn't mean oh. short for you. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I believe. I don't need to. I don't need to watch. This That's is the one time. Five to hit. Beautiful. Uh, yes, that definitely hits. Roll damage. Nine piercing damage plus uh, sneak attack. Plus 17 sneak attack. Jeez, Louise. Uh, okay, this one's out. A pebble with sneak attack <laughs> would be just as deadly as any other weapon. <laughs> like, it's not even the weapon that's dealing the damage. It's just how she throws it. I mean, there's yeah. a reason why the slingshot is a functional thing. It's because rogues exist. Um, okay. Guys, uh, it's a little early, but I think uh, I want to end it there um, and come back next week with a, like, tree defense. Instead of tower defense, we'll call it tree defense. Uh, and we'll have, like, a, a full map for it, and we'll figure out how to do that. And uh, at the end of that, I think there will be a shaman that's trying to kill you uh, because you guys are scary, and he wants to defeat you all. Um, so I think that's where we will call it today. Um, let's see. Handing out some experience points, if that's all right. Everyone good with that? I know it's slightly early. Yeah. Okay. Let's hand out that experience points then. Okay, you guys are level 10? Yep. Cool, let's do this thing. So... Made friends with a dryad, yes? Yes. Um, <clears throat> what else did we do? Uh, we captured um, a assailant. Friends were not as lucky. Convinced the assailant to betray uh, his masters a little bit. Uh, imprisoned the assailant in a tree. Survived a sneak attack. Um, <laughs> uh, spoke to a lizard. Tricked it into thinking you were a dragon. <laughs> um, 
any uh let's see defeated these four mofos let's see these are nine. wow okay 14 14 plus nine. okay and uh let's see oops uh anything else you guys feel you should be rewarded for today Lyra pulling it together for the last shot. <laughs> <laughs> Lyra rolling above a 10. <laughs> I will grant it. <laughs> Out of affection. <laughs> Wait, would you appreciate this? <laughs> I appreciate her. Uh, anything else that people feel they should get uh, bonus points for? Experience points for? Bonus points. Whatever. Now we've got over her weird um, complex about using her blood magic and actually use that blood magic to her full potential. Oh, it was so fun. I'm so glad of that. Yeah, I'll give you some points for that. That seems reasonable. Her character change is slowly becoming more evil. <laughs> I can tell because her actions are starting to match up with mine. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Sound good, everyone? Anyone have anything else? Okay, then uh, I'll tell this to Emily and uh, Asma because I know that they're the ones who will actually do the math and just record the rest of us. Uh, oh boy. 3,425 experience points. 22,485. Oh my god. Wow. That's how group projects work. <laughs> mm -hmm. We are getting strong. How many experience points do we have? 72,485. Wow, you are almost halfway to level 11. Gotta love it. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you had a good time. We certainly enjoyed ourselves a little bit. Uh, lots of uh, fun chaos energy. And uh, next time we will have, a, I think, a very, very fun little uh, intense encounter here. Uh, defending this position perhaps or something we'll find out what happens i don't know i'm excited though uh okay with that take care everyone go forth live good and happy lives and as always i strongly recommend that you call your cat and feed your mom bye everyone <laughs>